Depending on where you live, you may rarely get to face the ferocity of Mother Nature. Certain areas around the planet may be prone to floods, tornadoes, or even volcanic eruptions, making life all the more difficult for those who live there. But once in a while, Mother Nature decides to show off what she is really capable of. Weather events so jaw-dropping that you wouldn't believe it if it weren't filmed. From massive waterspout tornadoes to powerful volcanic eruptions, here are five extreme natural events that were caught on camera. Number 5. Tornado. It is incredibly surreal to see a tornado in person. An incredible cyclone of wind reaches hundreds of feet into the air and it is enough to take a person's breath away. But when the tornado moves over a body of water, it turns into something that seems as if it is otherworldly. A water spout in general, water spouts are not usually large in diameter, mostly measuring around 50 to 100 feet across. But on this particular occasion, in Grand Isle, Louisiana, a water spout formed over the water and grew to enormous proportions. As the people looked on, the wind whipped over the Gulf of Mexico, sucking up hundreds of gallons of water per second and growing to a diameter estimated to be around 200 feet wide. Luckily for the people in the video, the twister did not change course, as they are sometimes known to do. Should there have been a direction change with this tornado? This family could have been in some serious trouble. As it seems in the video, the water spout was only a couple hundred yards off the shore, which is an incredibly short distance for how fast a tornado can move. Before moving to the next number, we just want small favor from you. Like this video and subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon and get one week of good luck for you and your family. Try this it really works. Number 4. Mountain Collapsed. The morning of May 18, 1980 seemed like any other Sunday morning in Washington state. The seasons had just changed and nature was just waking up. But on the Mount Street, Helen's trouble had been brewing for weeks. A huge bulge appeared in the mountain site. Small tremors around its base were becoming more and more regular. It was the sure sign that magma was building just under the surface and an eruption was imminent. Just after 8 a.m. that morning a powerful earthquake shook the area and the entire north face of the mountain collapsed. Releasing over a cubic mile of ash and debris into the air within a matter of seconds. It tore through the forest with ease and blasted ash 16 miles into the sky. On March 31st, explosive eruptions continued, and the two craters merged. For the next several days, the mountain continued to spew ash and steam. Then, eruptive activity Within one hour of the eruption, the ash cloud had migrated over three states. Within a few days, it could circle the Earth. When looking at the eruption on film, we can see that it was incredibly powerful for one unique reason. The force of the explosion was not directed upward. Rather, due to the collapse of the mountain's north face, the explosion was directed laterally, tearing through miles upon miles of forest, leveling trees, and hurling boulders for hundreds of yards. By the time everything was over, the mountain had lost over 1,300 feet from its summit. The huge crater left by the eruption measured over a mile across and about half a mile deep. Number 3. Heavy Rainfall. In November of 2017, a remote, mountainous region of Switzerland experienced a massive amount of rainfall in a very short period of time. The water soaked into the soil of the Alps near the town of the Bond. Eventually, the ground gave way, sending a wave of mud down the slopes of the surrounding peaks. At the base of one of the mountains were a local lumber mill and carpentry shop. 
CCTV footage gives us a perfect glimpse into the raw power behind a mudslide. At first, it doesn't seem like much maybe just a few inches of mud that's picked up some debris along the way. But as time goes on, the mud gets deeper and more debris comes flowing in. Eventually, the mud reaches a depth of around 8 feet and easily washes away entire structures. So what is interesting to see is exactly how much of a fluid-like property the mud has. It fools us into thinking that it isn't so dangerous, but that is a deadly mistake to make. Number 2. Unexpected Event Curiosity always gets the better of people when it comes to something not being right. Give a few loud claps of thunder some heavy rains and a little wind and people will start going towards their windows and doors. Doing anything they can to catch a glimpse of what's going on outside. In this video shot on December 14, 2015. The homeowner had noticed that rain was coming down very heavily which is quite unusual for the winter months and in Los Angeles in general. Out of curiosity he went to his door to get a better view of what was going on. Rain was coming down sideways and the palm trees started swaying in a more violent motion. Bits of debris flew through the air and suddenly in the span of only a few seconds things took quite the extreme turn when a tornado actually hit his building. The homeowner had just witnessed a tornado drop directly on his building, tearing shingles and entire sections of roof away. It was a shocking sight, especially for a Los Angeles resident. Tornadoes are not known to drop in Southern California. But, there are always exceptions to the norms. After the storm passed, he and the neighbors went outside to survey the damage. It was easy to see that it was a twister, Trees and limbs were broken in half, scattered all along the roadway. Fences were blown over, structures were heavily damaged. Luckily, in this circumstance, nobody was hurt. Of intensity and wind speed, the twister was weak, but this video shows just how powerful even a weak tornado can be. Number 1. Fire. As far as natural disasters are concerned, California is known for two things earthquakes and wildfires. California, like many of the states in the West, gets most of its moisture in the fall and winter seasons. Its vegetation then spends much of the summer slowly drying out because of a lack of rainfall and warmer temperatures. On fire, this is a very bad scenario. Once dried out, that vegetation serves as kindling for the fires and all it takes is anything from a lightning strike to a carelessly discarded cigarette. This video was taken by Airman First Class Madeline Richard of the California Air National Guard, on August 17, 2015. During this season, the conditions were perfect for wildfires. Dry and arid. During a random thunderstorm in western Shasta, county lightning had struck, catching fire to the vegetation. To make matters worse, the wind was whipping, giving fuel to the fires and making it easier for them to jump from tree to tree with ease. Airman Richard's video, taken from inside an R-60 Black Hawk helicopter, shows the crew picking up water and dumping it on the fire to suppress it and slow its speed. Judging by the sheer size of the fire, it looks comparable to someone trying to put out a house fire with a garden hose. Nevertheless, their well-coordinated efforts pay off. A few days later, the fire was under control. Sometimes the very things that cause us to be in awe of a natural disaster are the very things that make it dangerous. However, it's always necessary to show a level of respect knowing far t what we may consider being beautiful or wondrous is something that could be killing someone else. Nature is both beautiful and deadly. A fact we should never forget. This is the end of our video. What we humans need to do to save our environment? Let us know in the comment box.